What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Med School Forum. And uh, my voice is kind of echoey because I'm in the library today. And uh, this is our science library. This is the uh, graduate reading room. So we get this little private room with these nice views. Um, so, you know, I put some videos out that were a little bit unconventional, you know, reviews and books and, um, like, you know, why use fountain pens of all the weird things to make videos about. But uh, since this is the med school forum, so I thought I'd give you guys an update on how med school's going. Um, we're now ending the month of September. So I've been in school for almost two months now. Um, had a good number of tests. They've thankfully gone well. Um, but they require a lot of studying. So it's today it's Saturday. It's a little bit past noon. And I'm in the library. And we're hitting uh, we're doing a lot of studying as usual. So that's one aspect of medical school. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't go away after undergrad. You think, you know, you work really hard undergrad and like you're going to get to medical school and things are going to be like, you know, really easy and fun. Um, they're going to be fun, but it still requires um, a lot more studying that you did in undergrad. But it's all things that are actually, you actually really enjoy studying because they'll have a, a really severe degree of uh, medical relevance. So here's a little taste of what you do on your Sunday mornings and afternoons when uh, you have exams coming up and just to keep yourself up to date so you're not cramming. Um, I'll try to take some video of a lecture that, and uh, for doing some labs for some exciting things. But uh, let me just tell you what's been going on with the, the beginning of medical school. Um, what's pretty interesting is that there's a lot of opportunities that as a first year you can do a lot more than just, you know, study all day. Um, there's a lot of interest groups on campus, things such as the um, emergency medicine interest group, pediatrics interest group. Uh, internal medicine, surgery, opto, a, a lot of interest groups that actually have a lot of activities you can go to. Um, and I got to go to one, it was a pediatrics interest group, they had a, a pediatric intensivist come give a talk. The um, anesthesiology interest group had a nice talk the other day. Um, there's activities we can go to, like such as how to do ultrasound, or how to do certain procedures like phlebotomy, <coughs> or simple suturing, or how to put in a catheter. So they have these little activities that kind of give us a taste of medicine throughout our um, learning. And one nice thing about medical school is in the first year, at my school at least, and most schools around the nation, they have a doctoring or a clinical foundations course in which you, um, you have a special course where you go and you see standardized patients with, an, with a true attending. So I um, mean, you usually you sit in groups. So you'll go, you'll see a standardized patient, you'll practice on how to take a history, how to collect vitals, and later on in the year you'll start taking, uh, you know, performing a physical exam. So you work with standardized patients, which are like really good actors that have an understanding of um, what they are responsible for telling you with respect to their history and their complaints, and they know really well if you're doing a good job of collecting their history or if you're doing a good job of taking their uh, physical exam. So these are really good patients. They're standardized so everyone gets the same education and we all can learn um, the most we can. If we had real patients, some people would get good exposure, some would get horrible, so they use standardized patients now. And that's been a nice break from studying because you get kind of tired at studying notes and books all day. So it's nice to go and practice how to take a history, collect the HPI, do the past medical history, past surgical, etc. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It's challenging. It's, you know, the reason why most of us came to medical school. We want to be clinicians. So it's nice to actually get closer to that ultimate dream of seeing patients and, you know, practicing these questions and doing exams. So there is a lot of fun in medical school. There's a lot of things to do. But one part that does not go away is the studying. And as, um, as many of you know, being a physician, uh, you know, I'm not a physician, but hopefully in a few years I will be, um, it, it's a lifelong studying process. So, you know, you, you kind of get used to it. Um, it. Hopefully it won't be like this where you're studying, you know, kind of, you know, mass amount of material to catch up. But uh, it is a continuous learning process. So, you know, we all enjoy learning, but it's just one aspect of medical school. It's always going to be there, and it's enjoyable. So uh, here's a quick update, guys. I need to go back to uh, doing a few other things, but um, just wanted to give you guys an update on how fun medical school is. Um, leave any comments below if you have questions. I'll try to make a video to respond. All right, see you later, guys.